Uh, yeah, this is what <laughs> I don't. I don't read these. I really don't read magazines because I'm in this business and I try to stay as much out of it as I can. Um, these are the magazines that I don't know if this is just uh, this month. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but this is crazy that you're on the cover yeah. of of this many magazines. And do you? Do you look at this ever? Do you try to, to I mean, how, what do you, how do you deal with all this? It's hard. I won't lie. Um, this is never where I wanted us to be, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, things that are put out in public that should not be. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, people will say, you signed up for a reality show, so you signed up for this. But I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really, my goal would be to keep it as quiet as possible for the kids. And when I speak, um, my yardstick is my kids. Mm -hmm. They can pull this up forever. I mm -hmm. don't want them to see anything that's negative that came out of my mouth. I, I really, and, and I'm honest, I, honestly, I don't really know what's going on. I know that... They just throw these away. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice little bonfire I, I won't read them. <laughs> I do know that uh, because you were on the show before with John, and I know that you have kids, and because uh, there's eight of them, because it's plus eight. And um, <laughs> I know that. Um, and I know that uh, there's alleged affairs and things like that, and y'all are divorcing or divorced, right? Uh, divorcing. OK. Um, and that he's no longer a part of the show. That's what I know. Um, okay. and, and does that then, do you think, well, then I should, because, like you said, how long, how long has the show been on the air? Uh, five seasons. Okay. And do you think, well, then, how do I backpedal? How do I get out of this to keep the kids away from this? Or do you think it's too late to turn around and get out of that situation so they wouldn't be exposed to this anymore? Um, you know, it's something that I have to deal with every day. You sign up for a reality show. It's this cute little show, um, and it's memories that you're collecting at one point. And um, I remember somewhere in season three where it started to explode, and I almost remember the exact moment where I thought, oh my gosh, we're really in this. We can't go back. You can't reverse. You can't disappear mm -hmm. and go away. Um, in a year, two years, three years, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but the point is, we're always going to stick out. We have twins and sextuplets. It's not like we'll ever blend back into society again, show or no show. We'll always be those people from that show. So I, my attitude is we have to go forward. Mm -hmm. We can't go back. And um, for the kids and I, this has been a very, very good experience. And it's been taken from us too soon. Mm -hmm. And Why um, do you think people are so enamored with it? Why do you think you're on the cover of all these magazines? What is it that people are so hungry to, to, to know more about? Well, I think certain events um, take place that um, makes us uh, sitting ducks, that makes us easy targets. Um, certain ones of us um, speak a lot. Mm -hmm. Others of us prefer to keep our mouths shut and um, make dinner, I don't know example. what you're saying. I c it's, <laughs> it's code. I can't understand it. Um, all right, so, so you think that, that that doesn't help if, if someone is talking about it? I, I just know that um, on TV or off TV, um, and. You know, I've been very much targeted, uh, torn apart, and whatever. But I am telling you, the root of my heart, everything about me, I am a mother first. I will always be a mother. And I would die for my kids if need be. I would never put them in a situation that was dangerous or um, unsafe for them. Mm. And like any mother, um, I laid on bed rest for 30 weeks. Um, eking out every minute of my pregnancy for my little kids. There is nothing I would do to put them in danger. And my focus is them. My focus is not the paparazzi. My focus is not, um, you know, what trip I can go on and where, or what shows I can be on and what I can do as a result of this. This is my job. This is my paycheck. And so this well, is what I do. All right. We have to take a break. But when we come back, you have to have a lot. You can't, you've got a date and you've got to have some kind of, because you really, well, you... <laughs> You have to. I mean, it's it's important. <laughs> I have to. Yes. I mean, you have to have a life. You can't. You can't. Yeah. I don't know anything, but I, just I do know that. I ignore it, really. Huh? I just ignore it to the best of yeah. my ability, other than the 18 cars that follow me at times. Yeah. I, I don't know. know what they're doing back there. Yeah. Oh man, I, I can't imagine. We're back. We're talking to Kate Gosselin. She was telling me who she's dating during the break, and um, <laughs> no, you're. I, what now? Well, what about that? Because now you you're gonna. Then you're going to be scared to have any kind of relationship or date or anything because you're worried about everything being out there. So, I am. And any man... I'm not thinking about it, but the thought has crossed my mind at some point. It's going to be, like, scrutinized 
Oh, exactly. Let's not talk about and it. the guy's going to have the same thing, <laughs> that, that same concern. Now, also, gonna... now the, the ring thing, I was told, again, I don't know. I know nothing. But um, <laughs> that was a, you were wearing the wedding ring for a while yeah. for the kid's sake or something, and now you're not. And did they notice, and you're not wearing it, and now no more wearing it? No. You're done. Um, at some, I was wearing it. At some point, I talked to the kids. It came up very naturally, and I said, you know, I'm not going to be wearing this ring very much longer. Oh, why? And I said, because I'm not going to be married to Daddy anymore, which, of course, um, you know, again, hearing that, I don't think that was fun for them. But I did say that I'm looking, um, well, at some point um, when I have a job again, um, I'm looking at a ring that has eight um, diamonds and mother of pearl um, I'm very into symbolism, and I found mm -hmm. a ring that has eight little diamonds, and it's surrounded by mother of pearl, me and the kids. And they were very excited about that. They were very excited, um, you know, because it's a symbol of me and the kids together forever, and I explained that, and um, they were really happy about now, that. Now, do they so. each get one ring with one diamond on it, then? Because <laughs> they should each have a ring with a diamond on it to be part of that, uh, that ring. Absolutely, when they get a job. Uh, I see. I see.